movie is kind of off the beaten path for me. It's a Filipino horror movie with a limited US release. It's not exactly my normal area. It's not in English, but Tagalog with subtitles. Which is good, because my Tagalog is very rusty, and even when I was most familiar with it, I spoke at a toddler level. But the studio invited me to a screening, so I can review it. It was my first studio invitation. It kind of makes me feel legit. And I lived in the Philippines for a little while in my youth. I'm half Filipino, and I'd seen a few Filipino movies. Horror movies were especially popular. That and action movies that were 50% gunfights. It was awesome! The Philippines is full of legends, ghost stories, monsters, things that go hoy in the night. Everyone had a true story about the supernatural. There are Filipino ghosts, just like any other you might find in other regions. But instead of saying boo, they say che, and they love karaoke. This movie is based on the true story of Clarita Venezuela, a young Filipino woman possessed by demons, in a case that made international news in 1953. This is Clarita. Clarita, played by Jody Santa Maria, is a young woman who, while in jail, is plagued by demonic attacks. She's possessed, terrorized, and tortured by the demons, as if jail isn't bad enough. After she kills a few doctors, priests, played by Ricky DeVal and Aaron Villaflor, are brought in to deal with her. But not everyone believes this is a genuine possession. There's always skeptics. Some believe she's just crazy, despite oodles of evidence. There's a theme of religion and faith, losing it, regaining it, as with any demon possession movie. The characters all have their own personal demons that feed into their motivations and their actions. The investigation into Clarita's past fleshes out her character told through flashbacks, which is good since it's just under 90 minutes and not a lot of time to build up. When they do get to the actual exorcism, I felt like I've seen this movie before. The acting is fine, not too melodramatic, but better than I was expecting. Of course, this is only based on a true story, and judging by everything I've read about the actual case, this movie turns some facts up to 11, which almost every true story movie does anyway. I also appreciate that it still takes place in 1953, giving it that old school treatment where they don't have a smartphone to solve every problem. But is it really scary? It depends. Do you watch a lot of scary movies? There are certain beats, cliches that are expected because they happen in almost every demonic possession movie. You have the possessed girl, of course, the priest fighting for her soul, the taunting demon. Some believe her, some don't. The Exorcist is compared to every demon possession movie since it was released. It set the bar and established the genre. It's a big shadow that so many movies just can't really get up from under. The climactic exorcism is pretty dark and claustrophobic, but it's also familiar. All in all, I didn't hate this movie. I wasn't bored or anything, but it just didn't bring anything new. Clarita is two Bs. It's well shot, well acted, and the flesh out characters are believable and sympathetic. The makeup and effects are pretty good, and some light gore moments that gave me that fist thing. Standing on its own, the effects are well done from a technical standpoint, but artistically derivative. We mostly fear the unknown, and this is just too familiar to be scary. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, the bell, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. This is the Newbie Kids, and I'll see you later. Toodles! And special thanks to my patrons. You guys rock!